so if you look at all my previous videos uh there have been relatively videos concentrating on single parts now i thought i should uh, do a sort of a mouth series uh, video where we can make <laughs> multiple parts to come out with one thing so i thought uh, it would be better if i got this uh, about press project uh, if you have gone to an a u.s college uh you'll see that uh, or if you're planning to to go to a u.s college for to study manufacturing uh then normally uh, as your final project you're actually given this uh about press uh blueprint and you do the manufacturing if you can do all these parts either on cnc or uh using the manual bridge port systems and uh, then whatever you've studied in that course uh can you it's sort of your uh product to show that i actually went to college i studied and i know how to do the things so it's this is a project that you're going to find in many uh colleges uh, in manufacturing and this is what you hand in as your final project so i thought i would use this for people who are planning maybe who stumble upon this when they are doing their projects on in college and see how they can actually draw this part in free card either for cnc or blue printing or what 3d printing so this is how we're going to do it today uh, we shall actually work on the base in the next video we shall go to the column then after that we shall actually work on the gear and the sleeve okay and then we shall work on uh, the table followed by uh, the rack then maybe in uh, another video we shall actually work on uh these other small parts like the handles and the face plates so uh for the purpose of the base uh let's go ahead and look at the dimensions of the base and see what we are going to draw so uh let me put these dimensions on screen so if you could actually pause the video and take note of these dimensions so these are what we're going to use to actually draw in FreeCAD and let's go ahead and get uh, started with this so remember in free, uh, to draw we shall go to part design uh, make sure we have uh, a body and then have a sketch select our preferred plane of drawing I'll be taking XY and then click on OK. So, uh, in this case, let's go ahead and get the polyline tool and draw the sketch of how the part is going to look like. So, go ahead and click on that. Click on make that line. Go up, make that line, make that angle like that. Just uh, the normal outline, something of the sort. It doesn't have to be accurate uh, so long as you have the outline. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to indicate that these sides should be equal. This and this will also be equal. This and this will also be equal this and this will also be equal will also be equal okay so we have this uh, set up that way so let's go ahead and now start uh giving it some dimensions so uh let's go ahead and click on that dimension and we know that will be 2.875 five inches by the all the dimensions are in inches okay so let's go ahead and move this down i'll stretch this 
this was so uh, we can have something of a sort. So after we do that, uh, let's go ahead and also give this the vertical dimension. Sorry, let's go ahead and click on that and click on that. And this is going to be 2.5. Okay. So something of the sort, let me just stretch this up like that. So it looks almost like how we want it. Okay, and then we can click on that and that and the center line. And we say this will be symmetrical. Let's just push this back this side like this. Something of the sort. Don't mind about the dimensions, they'll come out themselves. So let's just leave it that way. And then after we do that, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to give this its dimension, and that's going to be 1.010. Okay. And then we shall give this a, a dimension. So this is 0.933 minus 0 0.690. Okay. Okay, so let's move this here. So it's, it looks like the way we want it. We have three degrees of freedom remaining to solve this. So we have that set up. So let's go ahead and click on that point and that point, and we give it a, a vertical distance. That should be 2.5. And then we click on that. Let's just make sure we are seeing this. Uh, we click on that and we give it one inch. Something of a sort. Okay, so we are remaining with one degree of uh, freedom. So let's see here, we have given that 2.5, one inch. So let's see what part is uh, remaining. Uh, it's, let's get that. Uh, Actually, we don't have even to mind about that. It will come out on its own. So that's one inch, one inch. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. So let's do that and then lock it down so that should be actually should be halfway which is 2.875 divided by 2 so we can stretch it a little bit so you should have uh, the constraint come out that way I think we're done. So go ahead and close. You should have something of sort. Give it a pad of one inch and you should now have something that looks this way. Uh, go ahead and click on that face. Click on sketch. Okay. And then uh, what we're going to do is you're going to click on the construction line. 
And then we're going to draw some two lines. This line is 0.5 of an inch. And this and this are, are actually equal. The distance bit from this to this is actually 0 0.625. Let's do it that way so you guys can see it. Okay, and the distance from this to the center, which is halfway, is 0 0.625 divided by 2. So we can bring it in the center. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and close the bottom since we shall be using it for just make sure it's coincidence like that. And then go ahead and click on this three point arc like that, like that, like that. Uh, undo that, make sure it's not snapping, make sure it's free, make sure it's not snapping on that line so you can define the radius on your own. So that radius is going to be equivalent to uh, 0 0.625, okay? Once you have that, go ahead and close and create a pocket and indicate it's a through all, click OK. Spin your part, click that face, create another uh, sketch. Uh, go ahead and click on the circle tool. Make sure it's uh, locked to this center line. The distance from that point to that point is half an inch, since this part is an inch. And The diameter of that is 0.255. Okay. Sorry. Nope. That's not true. Hold on. It's 0.3. That is 0.313. Okay. That's 0.313. Go ahead and click on close. You should see something of the sort. We are going to create a pocket. And that pocket depth is 0.938. Okay. It's not through all, so it's just 0.938. So if you check on this side, it doesn't go through. Okay. So once we are done with that, click on that face, click on sketch. So this is going to be the last part of it. Uh, it's also a radius. So that let's also draw a construction line and we know the distance from the bottom to that radius is actually 1.060. Okay. And then that is going to be 0.255. Okay. Uh, go ahead and click on close. That's going to be a pocket, and that will be a through all pocket. Click OK, and you should see it go through like that. Uh, so the last part of it to have this part done is the chamfer. So just position it. Select that edge. Select those edges. Once they're selected, click on the chamfer tool 
and give it a chamfer of uh this is in thousands uh the diagram is going to show 0 uh, 0.0625 so it's in thousands we shall put it at 62.0 it's actually 62.5 and press enter and that will be your base so we are done drawing the base uh the next video we shall actually draw the column and i'll also show you how we can start uh, assembling uh, this part actually let me give you a sneak peek of how this is done so uh, these are the two parts drawn but you can see uh, i have assembled them so in the next video we shall see how we draw the column and how we assemble it with the base i hope you had a good day and uh, that's the video bye for now